Hey everyone, it's Coach Jensen. Due to popular demand, I'm making another Coach's Kitchen video. So today I'm going to make something that might sound a little bit untraditional, but it's a Coach Jensen special, all right? It's going to be salmon burritos. So as you can see over here, I've got my rice started. I haven't started boiling yet, but it's getting ready. I've got my potatoes, and the way that I like to prepare, prepare these potatoes, come on over, the way that I like to prepare these potatoes is I dice them. So the first thing I do is slice them nice and thin, as you can see right here, I've got just a nice little piece. So I'll go ahead and slice the whole potato that way. Okay. And then when I'm done slicing that whole potato, I turn them over and I'm going to slice again this way. Then I'm going to turn it sideways and dice so we get these nice little cubes. Okay, and this is typically how I cook my potatoes because then you get a lot of surface area on the pan and you can get them nice and crispy um, and they cook a little bit faster because they're in smaller size. Finishing the prep work right now. I've got my potatoes here that have been diced. I always like to rinse those out and get some of the starch on them, off of them before I throw them in. So I'm going to throw them into this pan here. I've got some butter and some bison tallow getting ready. You can see my rice is um, almost about to boil. Uh, so soon I'll turn the heat down on that and get it covered up. And then if you come over here to the cutting board, I've got some zucchini. So the way that I prepare this zucchini is I usually cut about four pieces off of there that are just thin little slices like this. And then I take them and I do what's called quarter them. So you guys know quarter means one fourth, right? A lot of you, we've gone over that before. So I make one slice, turn it, and slice again. So I'll continue to do that until the zucchini is all done. And then here I've got an Anaheim chili pepper. So I'm gonna take this Anaheim chili pepper and do pretty much the same thing where I'm just slicing it down and then I'll turn it sideways and I'll dice it to get those nice little chunks. Some people like to take the seeds out, uh, but I'm gonna leave them in for a little bit of extra spice. It's gonna add some flair and kick to these burritos. And then I'll do the same thing with this uh, red bell pepper and this green bell pepper. And I'll cut you know, a little slice off and then I'll just make nice tiny little slices. So I've got these small little bite sized pieces. And so I'll continue all that until um, all the prep work is done. And then I will throw those uh, in a pan with some coconut oil. Because okay? that coconut oil is healthy for your heart and really adds a nice flavor in there. On to the next stage of the meal. So I've got some strips of the thick cut all natural bacon. We've got the oven preheated to 400 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and pop those in for about 6 minutes until I switch sides. We've got the potatoes coming along nicely here. Uh, so what I'm going to do now that I've got those rocking is put some seasoning on them. So I'm going to hit them with the pink Himalayan sea salt. This is much better than the iodized bleached salt um, because it contains a lot of minerals that you won't find in that salt. It's a lot healthier for you. So I'm going to put a nice generous helping on. And I'll get some on my peppers and zucchini back here too. So I just put the peppers and zucchini into the pan. They've got some coconut oil that's just starting to melt on them. I'm going to go ahead and get some crushed red pepper. This generous little helping there. Just a little bit of chili powder, not too much because it's going to be pretty spicy already. And then of course my favorite, we've got the coarse ground uh, black pepper. And we'll be pretty generous with this as well. Alright, so you can see that it's all on the top right here. So a lot of people like to use a spatula. Personally, I like to uh, use my chef skills and just move it around like this to get all the seasonings mixed in. And you can see that now they're starting to all be coated in just a, instead of just that top layer. Alright, so our rice has now come to a boil. So I've turned it down um, on the pot there and I've got it simmering on low for 15 minutes. When that's done, we'll let it all uh, absorb for about 10 more minutes. And then I've got my four salmon fillets in here, which have been marinating all day in some olive oil, some lime juice, um, and just some other seasonings. I add a little paprika, some salt, some pepper, and a tiny little bit of cayenne powder. And then over here, 
I've got a nice uh, bunch of cilantro. So what I did was chop off the end there, mostly the roots, and I'm going to chop that up nice and fine. And then when the rice is done, I'll mix it in with the rice. My cilantro here that I chopped up. So all you really do is take your knife, press down a bunch of times, get some nice speed on there. All right. I've got my pan that's heating up with avocado oil and it's pretty hot. So we're going to get this skin nice and crispy so we want it to be pretty hot. So what I'm going to do is take two of my marinated fillets. You can get a nice close up and see what they're looking like there. I'm going to pop them in skin side down. <laughs> and then I'm going to cover them up so that they don't get grease all over uh, more than there already is. And then if you come get a close up here, so I switched my pans. I've got my potatoes cooking in this nice little one now so that I can do, do two salmon fillets at a time. Okay, so my potatoes probably have about five minutes left. Oh, smoke alarm. All right, so we had a little incident with the smoke alarm. No big deal, got that taken care of nice and quick. Pays to be tall sometimes. So I'm gonna cook these salmon fillets for about three minutes on each side. Um, so the timer went off on my rice so I turned off um, all the heat on that back burner, and now we're just letting it sit covered for about 10 minutes. Um, with the bacon, you uh, have to flip it over halfway so that both sides get cooked evenly. Okay. So I flipped it a couple minutes ago. Man, that smells good. And just waiting for that bacon to catch up. And I'll give you guys a checkup when we're a little bit closer. All right, students, so we've got the last couple strips of bacon out here. I'm going to go ahead and take these out. And I'm going to put them on my cilantro pile. You can see that my first two salmon fillets have come out. I cut them in half just to make sure that they're cooked all the way through, and they indeed are. I've got my little potatoes, which are pretty much done right now. We're just waiting for the other ingredients. The rice just came up. And you can see that the peppers have started to change colors a little bit and that they're softer. Uh, so these are actually done as well. We've got a nice little vegetable mix here there. Nice little medley. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to chop up the bacon into the cilantro. And I'm going to throw all of this into my rice. So obviously it's a little harder to chop the bacon because it's uh, much thicker than the cilantro. But we're going to get this into nice tiny little bacon bits. And then we're going to throw it in with the rice and mix it all together uh, so that we've got some nice filling to fill our burritos with. Pumped because it's finally time to wrap up these burritos. So I'm going to show you the process. So I made some guac. All I did was take two large avocados. I smashed them up with some lime juice. Nice and simple because we're going to have so much flavor from the other stuff. So I'll take a nice generous spoonful. Spread it out on the middle. And I'm going to take my fish, I'm going to take about half of a filet um, because I'm estimating that I'm going to have eight burritos here. So I'm just going to cut this piece in half, put it right down on there. All right. I'm going to grab my potatoes and I only made two potatoes today. Normally I would put a lot more potato on there, uh, but we're just going to put a little bit for the flavor on each of these. And then I've got my pepper and zucchini mixture here. This is where a lot of the flavor is going to come from, especially with that coconut oil. And then last but certainly not least, I'm going to take my rice, cilantro, and bacon bit mixture, um, which is looking and smelling really good right now. All right, so I also put some lemon juice in there to add a little citrus flavor and to keep things fresh. So one mistake that I often make is that I get a little bit too excited and load up these burritos a little over capacity sometimes. So I'm going to try to keep this one manageable, all right? So everybody's got a different style, but what I do is I take the two sides, make sure there's nothing overflowing on them, wrap this part up, press down and pack all my ingredients in, close these sides in, and roll that puppy up. And that is a good looking burrito. <laughs> and now the moment we've all been waiting for, the taste test. So I've got a burrito wrapped up here. I'm going to take a big bite um, and give you my reaction and see what we are experiencing here. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Oh, baby. Mm. That is delicious. So my burrito actually fell open. Good little opportunity for you guys to see what it looks like inside. Mm. But I got a really nice bite that had all ingredients in there. Mm. One of the first things that sticks out to me is the bacon bits. That's a little extra thing that I put in there that I don't always do. It really makes a big difference, packs a lot of punch. You can really taste that citrus from the lemon and the lime in there. It adds some nice freshness to the burrito. Mm. And that salmon is so nice. It's been marinating all day in the lime juice, the oil, and the seasonings. Really got some incredible flavor. So overall, this is a really great flavor combination. Um, and the good thing about burritos is you can do whatever you want with them. Most people don't make a salmon burrito, but you know what? That's what I like. Okay? And that's why I like to do it is because most people don't. So feel free to experiment with whatever things you want to put inside your burrito and comment below what's your favorite combination to stuff your burritos. Um, so I'm really happy to be back making more videos. Um, man, the fans have really been hitting me up requesting videos a lot lately. So I had to do it for the people. I gotta give the people what they want. So until next time, stay happy, stay healthy.